All right, it's hatch day and my babies are being born as we speak. A few started out yesterday and a bunch hatched out overnight and I still got them coming. Um, but I wanted to update you guys with what's happening with my Farm Innovators 4250 model. Um, you can see it here. Um, they tell you to get your humidity up um, from 65 to 75%. But what I'm finding is that as the first chicks start hatching out, the wetness from the chick itself and from inside the shell is skyrocketing the humidity so that I have a humidity problem with it being too high, which I've read can suffocate the ones that are hatching out. You do need it to not be up in the 80s like we've had. So I wanna show you what I did to mitigate that. Here you can see the condensation and you can see I'm down to 70% at this point. My temperature's holding strong. My babies keep coming. I've got a bunch more pipping out. And um, right here, you can see there's usually a red stopper here and a red stopper there. And the directions say that you need to pull the first one out as the first chick is hatching and then pull the second one out as they are out and drying. Um, but I found that I had to pull both of those out a little bit you know, early on because the humidity was through the roof. And right now, as you can see the front part of it, I've had to prop this open slightly to let out more of the humidity because I did not compensate for the wetness of the chick itself. And I think trying to get it up into the 70s, you know, 65 to 70%, um, we can think that more is better and that's not necessarily true. So what you need to do is maybe go on the low side of humidity understanding that as they start hatching that humidity from the wetness of the chicks and from the stuff the little goo that's inside the the shell is going to cause the humidity to just skyrocket but you can manage that you can keep the warmth thin. you can just barely prop it open so there's more airflow you do not want the humidity to plummet and then jeopardize the chicks that are hatching because they need that humidity or the membrane will shrink up and kill them and they won't be able to get out now you can um, help them get out. I will link a video. I'll put a card here so you can see uh, how we've helped other chicks out in the past, but you don't want to have to do that. There's a cascade of interventions that becomes necessary if you have to open it up during lockdown. Lockdown is called lockdown because you're supposed to lock it down. And so just letting a little bit of it out. See, where are we at now? We are at 69% now, which is pretty good. Um, and everybody's doing great. But I just want to give y'all an update and to let y'all know um, to keep that humidity down, keep it within that range, add extra airflow early if you need to, prop open the side just a little bit to let that airflow in and let the humidity out if you need to. And then also at one point our temperature shot up to like 101 and I had to give it a little bit of extra airflow for that, but then that stabilized and so everything's good. My temperature and humidity reader is pretty accurate. I've had some backup hygrometers in there and um, they all matched. So mine is exceptional in that it actually reads accurately. So anyway, hope this helps and uh, we'll show you the result of the babies after they're all out and in their brooder.